Hey guys, so this video is actually a continuation of my last video in the series where we talked about dynamic URLs and built out our customer profile page. So I finished up that video and completely forgot to actually build out the links and show you how that works and how we can make this a little bit more dynamic. So what I'm gonna do is actually add on to our URL patterns here and make this more dynamic. So in our URL patterns, we can actually give these a name and call them in the template by the name and not have to write out the hard coded URL pattern. So what we'll do here is call this URL home because that's the dashboard. And then we'll name our products page products. And we need to give it a name and we'll call this one customer. So name is going to be customer. And what we can do now is actually use this the Django way and finish up our navigation bar and our dashboard. So in our dashboard, what we're going to do is go ahead and add in the URL parameters into these buttons here. So I actually forgot to create the buttons too. So let's just go ahead and create a button that lets us view each profile. So in here, in this loop, we'll first scroll up here and we'll create an empty table column at the top. So we're not going to give it a name and down here. And that's just for spacing. We'll create a new column and it'll just be a link. So let's go ahead and do a href and this is where that dynamic href is going to be or that dynamic link. So instead of doing something like this, where we do customer and then pass in the customer ID because we named the URL patterns right here, because we added this third parameter, we can actually call it just by that name right there. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use template tags and we're going to do curly brace and then we're going to do 2% signs. And now we can do URL and then I'm going to do single quotes because we had double quotes out here and we're going to do customer. And then outside of the single quotes, we're going to do customer dot ID. And this lets us do things the Django way and actually create a URL pattern. So we type it in like this and that creates a link for us. And let's see, why don't we see that in the template for customer and customers? Oh, I forgot to give it a name. So we're going to say, view. So what this does is it actually creates a URL pattern for us and it looks like a hard coded URL, but we're doing this the Django way. So if we, the reason why this is so powerful is that if we change up this URL path for some reason, we would have to go into all of our templates and update that pattern that we put in here. So we'd have to update it in all the templates and that can create issues. But if we update it here and let's say customer, uh, let's say profile, in this case, what we would do is keep this name the exact same and we wouldn't have to update anything. So we just call it by the name and everything should stay the same in all of our templates. So what I'll do now is go ahead and test this link. So if we go here, go to view, we'll see Peter's profile and we can see John's profile. So that's all linked up. Let's go ahead and create the links to these right here. So in this URL pattern, I did URL, the name, and then I passed in the ID. So because in our dashboard, we don't have to pass in a dynamic parameter like that. What we can do here is just do the template tag URL and then single quotes. And what did we call that? We called it home. So we'll just use home right there and I can use this same method and finish this up. So right here, we would call that products and that should complete all the URL patterns for us. So now we can actually go to our products page, go to our dashboard and go back and forth. So I'll just go ahead and style these buttons really quick and prep you for the next video where we'll actually handle CRUD. So all I'm gonna do is add some bootstrap to these buttons and make sure they look good. So in here, we'll just do class is gonna be btn, btn-sm. So I want that small btn-info. And I'll actually go ahead and copy this class for the orders too. So we'll do, and we'll actually create these links in the next video when we're handling CRUD. So we'll do that. And for delete, I'm going to change this to danger because I want this red and that should prep us for the next video. Okay. So in the next video, we'll actually handle CRUD. Sorry about that. I completely forgot. Uh, I completely forgot to do this in the last video. So um, go ahead and make sure you're watching the CRUD operations video.